What's up guys, this is Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. In this video, we're gonna be looking at how to add hover boxes on your Wix website. So right now I'm previewing the site and we actually have a hover box on here right now. In fact, it's the sale that you see in front of you, the little header there. If I hover over it, it changes and has a little animation and now we have a link that we can click on. And then when I'm off of it or hover off of it, it goes back to that initial animation. Now this can be all sorts of interactivity here. You don't have to have animation. You can have animation. You could even have video. There's all sorts of elements. I'm going to show you how to add and tweak and customize some of the elements and add a hover box to your website. So we'll head on back over to the editor and we're actually going to add this hover box here. So let's, I'm just going to delete that out and we're going to re-add it by going over to the plus icon. That's the add tool. And in here, we're going to find a list of items under interactive. And it starts with full with slideshows. But if we scroll down, we're going to start to see hover boxes here towards the bottom. And the one that I added is this sale hover box right here. So if we click and drag this onto our page, we can sort of find the center of our page right here and attach that. Now we can scale this to the side just by clicking on one of these corners and dragging it out in our items are going to scale with it, our background image. Same thing with this side, I'm going to click and drag it out. So now we're centered up. We have two different views of our hover box. Number one is the regular view, and that's the view that shows without you hovering on it. The second view here is the hover view, and so once you hover over it with your mouse, this is what you're going to see. Now, once we rescaled our box, our 50% off and buy now changed positions. So to edit the elements inside of here, all you have to do is click on them and you can edit them like any other element on your page. So I can click and just simply move this back over so that it's centered up. Same thing with the buy now, click and move him back over until he's in the center. So let's go back to the regular view. First thing we're gonna talk about is some of the elements and options of your hover box. So if we just click on the hover box, not an element inside of it, we can change the background, edit the design, apply to hover, which we'll explain that here in a little bit, and then also you have the help section. If we click on change background, that gives us an option to change the hover box background. Now, first off, we have settings in here, whether it's image opacity and then the color behind the image if you can see through it. We can also just make the background a color, an image, or even a video piece. And then Wix has some default sort of themed images and backgrounds for you to choose from here. But you can always upload your own image or video by clicking through these buttons. I'm going to leave the background as is. I kind of like this eye-catching sort of animation that's going on. Now the next up we have design. And if we click on that, we can actually adjust the border of our hover box. We can adjust the corners and we can also adjust the shadow by enabling or disabling. And once you enable it, you're gonna have some other options here to choose from to edit that shadow. Now the apply to hover means any changes I make to the regular view don't necessarily affect the hover view. But if I want to apply all these changes like the background and the text that I, and the elements that I have in this view and I want to duplicate them over to the hover view, all I would have to do is click the apply to hover button. The same thing applies for individual elements. So let's say we add, want to add something to this hover box and we go over to the add button and maybe we find something like a piece of uh, vector art. No, we're going to find a shape here and we're just going to add like a star element. So I'm going to click and drag this into my hover box area and notice the little blue uh, attached to hover box right here. So we know it's going into the hover box and we're going to let go. Now we have a star in here. There is no star on the hover version, but there is a star on the regular version. So that's where the apply to hover comes into play. If I click on this shape here and I hit apply to hover, I can apply this element to my hover view as well. Notice how it now says applied. And if I go over to the hover view, I have that star over here. If I were to happen to change the design of this star and maybe I change the color to something different like this peach color, 
I changed it in the hover view, but it hasn't changed in the regular view. So if you want to bring that color change or whatever change you've made over to that other view, that's when you click apply to regular. And now you can see applied over here in the, in the regular view, and now we have that peach star on both. So that's how we can add elements and then apply them to each respective view, whether it's regular or hover, if you want an element to be in both. I'm gonna delete this out. In the hover view, which we deleted from the regular, so obviously it didn't delete from the hover, so we'll delete it from there as well. In the hover view, we obviously have some different elements than the regular view. We have a 50% off and a buy now. These are just text elements put in here. We actually have ways to animate this text. So when you hover over this hover box, you're going to be able to view that animation. So if we click on this 50% off, we can actually choose the animation that happens when we hover over everything. So I'm gonna choose potentially expand in or I like puff in instead. And once I click on that, I can actually customize that animation. If I click the customize button, we can play it and see what it is. We can adjust the duration and sort of preview that again. And that obviously takes way too long to come in. So I think maybe something around a half second or so would work. And you can also add a delay to that if you wanted to. So we're gonna back out of that. That's how you can customize the animation. If I don't want, maybe I just want a solid color background on the hover, but I want this sort of eye-catching moving background on regular, I could go back over to this hover and change that background to maybe a color, like a solid color like this blue, instead of having that animation. And now I have the animation on the regular version and no animation on the hover version. So you really see that you're hovering over that element. The other thing we can do here is inside of edit text, we can adjust where it's linked. So if you want this to actually be a button, you can adjust the link here and go in and select which page it takes you to. So if you had an actual sale on an item, for instance, you could take them to that specific page, or you can have it do a bunch of other options here, whether it's send an email, send them to a spot on your page with an anchor, or maybe even a different web address. It's all up to you. You can sort of customize that to be to your liking. Now let's go ahead and preview what our changes are. So I'm gonna hit the preview button up here and we see we have the sale, and as we hover over the top of this, we've got that 50% off that sort of zooms in there, and it goes to a solid background color. If we unhover or take our cursor off, our animation goes back to that regular state. So we have the regular state here, and the hover state here. That is everything you need to know about hover boxes. If you have any questions or comments or a creative use for them, let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned a thing or two about adding hover boxes to your website. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more tips and tutorials, and I'll see you next time.